Hello again, everybody. Harry Boxer, the technical trader at thetechtrader.com. These are the charts of the day, and we're going to remain on the long side until this market breaks. Right now, there is no top in sight, although we're due. That's for sure. We have been due for a while. The trend is your friend. Perhaps they're going to start taking them down in May. You know that expression, sell in May and go away? Well, we'll see next week. We'll see this week, actually. <laughs> Starting off with Apple, you don't often hear me talk about Apple, but since the September high, when it broke through the uh, October, in October when it broke down below 650, and I would turn negative on it, the stock had jumped all the way down to 385. And for the first time, this declining cops line was taken out today. In addition, the moving averages, which have been coming down, the 10-day has actually turned up. The 21 is slightly turned up. The 50 is still slipping downward. But the declining cops line, in lateral price resistance at about the 438 area, we're broken today and the stock closed at the upper end of the range up 12.66, about 3%. Now 24.7 million traded, pretty good volume. And the last you can see the stock's been up 40s in a row. So we're gonna to need to see if there's a follow through. The next target will be up around 470, believe it or not. At this high here, it's 469.95 to be exact. But We'll see if we can get some extension on the market and on this stock. Obviously, if you get an extension on this stock, you get the extension on the market. Up next is Ajirion, which actually continues to act great. And just showed you that big pop on Monday. Here's another fall through today. We reached 42.99. That's a new all-time high. Here's your daily chart. And you can see the beautiful channel it's been in ever since the breakaway move here that took place in October of last year. And then the stock consolidated, pop, consolidated, pop, consolidated, and now it's popping again, perhaps. The volume was great the last two days, one and a half million, up to dollar 14 today. So we'll uh, look for a target up around 47, 48 next. Up next is CSOD, which is one of, one of my top 25 stocks since it broke out. I'm beginning of last year. Uh, no, let's put it July of last year, excuse me. And you can see now that the run up after the swing trade we had very successfully here took another leg up and can, came down to test support, moved back up. It's been pretty choppy this year, but steadily higher. Look at the long term charts of beauty. The projection on this one now is all the way up in the high 40s with the midterm, mid channel projection up around 40. That's my targets next for. CSOD. 3D system, significant day perhaps. It traded 9 million shares, up 7%, 247. And it, though it closed off the high, it still had a terrific session as it punched through a couple layers of support. It reached the top of the short term channel and backed off, but closed with a terrific gain today on the best volume I've seen in this sudden update, and all the way back to January. So we'll be keeping an eye whether or not this thing has turned the corner. And you can see that the internal trend line was also reached today. That's another reason why the stock may have backed off. However, if it should get through here, I would not be shocked to see this run back into the mid 40s. First solar up yet another dollar, 2.7%, 2 and uh, 6.8 million share traded. You can see how it just continues to edge higher. My $51 targets well within reach here. We reached 47, 46. Um, can you imagine a stock a year ago was trading at the, I think it was 11. Let's see, let me double check that number. Yep, 11.54, you believe that? It's more than fourfold right now in the last year. Up next is uh, GIB. This had a big day today. I've never heard of this stock until today. G CGI Group, symbols GIB. Significance of that was that it had a nice, um, solid double top here with a breakaway gap and a beautiful close. Look at the stock close today. Up 493 or 18.5%. And the biggest volume of this stock in quite a while. So a clean breakout. Look at the long term chart going back on a weekly basis. You see this, this could be a stop for the mid-high 40s on a week on an intermediate basis. 
On a short-term basis, I'm, I'm looking for mid-30s. Hardware. The big wedge that it formed off of the rising channel bottom and this declining top sign here was taken out with abandon today as the stock gapped up hugely. It closed up 11.78 or 14 percent. One and three quarter million, 1.8 million trade. That's the biggest volume I've seen in a long time. The close was excellent near the top end of the range. On a long term basis, you can see that all the way back to early 2011 when we reached 90, 98, 98, it probably will be tested and taken out as early as tomorrow morning. But it is a stock that could run up into the mid 100s, 105 or so short term. MGAM with a big move today. Stock popped uh, and exploded, I believe, on earnings. And it closed up 448 or 22%, one and three quarter million share traded. If you step back and look at the overall pattern, you'll see that the top of the long term channel was hit today, and yet the stock didn't back off much. So this could start to spike up into the high 20s. MTOR, I wanted to show you this pattern because it's a beautiful base that's formed over the last year. The last two sessions in particular, a pop. A huge move today, 105 or 22.11%, 10 million nearly, 9.7 million trade, the biggest volume in years. A clean breakout of the base, looks to me like the next target would have to be up just under seven, followed by a move to eight and a half. OIS, that's oil states. Look at this long term chart. Very interesting pattern. Big move off the 09 loans, took it all the way up into the 90 range and then pull it back sharply. Right now we have multiple tops here. We blew through that today. It closed right at it or just above it. Here, there you go. It's a gap, the breakout, and a strong close like that above multiple tops often leads to much higher levels. I have a 98 to 105 dollar target on this. Raptor, big, big move for Raptor today. It didn't close great, but it did move from 668 to 767. It closed at 690 at 35 cents, 5%. But five and a half million traded. You can see how it backed off the clean overhead resistance. But I feel, the feeling is that this base has been completed, that the stock has run up to resistance. And if it should get through that resistance, you can see a long term base here. That resistance was taken out today. And we look for a spike to get it up towards the 10 12 zone on an immediate basis. Short term target is $8. SCTY, one of the better acting solar energy stocks. First solar was good, but this is terrific. And with all these solars pulling back, this continues to make higher highs up $1.89 or 7.5% today on 1.2 million, which is a darn good buy for the stock. If you take a look at the short term pattern, that's the biggest buy in the three weeks. So good stuff there, but the top of the channel is near. May, may get some resistance after being up for like nine or less 10 days. The last day is Texas Roadhouse with great earnings, gapped up and ran hard. $2.18 cents or 10%, and a 3.4 million, the biggest buy in three months. So this one looks terrific. Here's your long term chart. Another restaurant chain doing well, targeting 31 32 zone on an immediate basis. That's it for tonight. Everybody have a good evening. We'll trade with you tomorrow.